og trodserholdet vil vise ham stedet. Victor, Victor Bravo 1, Ray. Birth, lange linje, southern end. At position indicated by birthing party. Break. Break. Time. Arrived. Copenhagen. Two five zero nine one five Alpha. Over. Extension two four zero. Have you that report on young Ellison? Just one moment, sir. volunteered for a transfer from general service to submarine, sir. He's now serving in Artemis as fifth hand. Any comment? The commanding officer of Artemis thinks he's going to be all right, sir. Where are they now? Copenhagen. On an official visit. There are three frigates there as well. Too soon to appoint him elsewhere, then. Oh, yes, sir. He only finished his submarine training at Gosport three and a half months ago. Right. Thank you. Gosport 3271, HMS Dolphin. I'll put you through. Yes, submarine training. Here are the names of the next officer training course. Oh, good. I've been waiting with them. Walcott, M.H., Lieutenant. Benson, Aden, some Lieutenant. Bonner, K., Lieutenant. Ellison, T.F.R., Lieutenant. Knighton, L., Lieutenant. Ottaway, J.W., Lieutenant. So clearly, the first thing to learn is the escape drill. Uh, I want you to stand up now, put your goggles on your eyes and your nose clip on your nose. Then get your breathing unit, You're put it right breathing. in your mouth, make a good watertight seal round the rubber and start breathing from your B breathing units. You will then make your way up the hatch, breathing out as you go. There's a hundred foot column of water above you through which you have to ascend to the surface. Stand by, stand by, stand by. Dreadnought at sea at this moment to be followed shortly by Valiant. As future submariners, you will very shortly be involved in the nuclear submarine program and a program of hunter killer submarines. Submarine engines. Obviously, standardization was the next thing required. The head valve will float up and shut the valve. As soon as the head valve becomes clear again of the water, the head valve. 12 lead acid cells, each producing 2.1 volts. A cell is comprised of a positive and negative plate made of lead oxide and lead and surrounded with sulfuric acid. And so cuts down any fuel fumes inside the submarine. Because of the fact that uh, fuel fumes inside the submarine could be rather dangerous, theory of it, must make sure and it should have been brought home to you, the absolute need for the attack team to be fully worked up in a submarine. Now deliberately, put you into these groups of the electrical officers, engineers and the executives all working together here. So that it doesn't really matter who does a job, you should all be fully capable of manning any of these positions. Bear in mind while you're doing this that submarine is basically a weapon of war and you're there just for this purpose of attacking other submarines and surface ships. This prevents open an induction flooding indicator drain clear into the submarine via and the induction, induction piping. Hull valve. This valve is fitted with a buoyancy chamber, so that when the head the valve check is pulled below the surface of the sea, on. either by the submarine itself going deeper or the small being lowered, and for the windowless shut. The other end of the induction pipe can see from this valve here, which is led into the open air. From Fosun to Artemis, Info SM2. 
Paragraph 1. Lieutenant Ellison appointed Artemis additional. Stopped. Para 2. Officer instructed to join at Plymouth 0900 Tuesday the 23rd. You must be Ellison. Nice to see you. Would you like a cup of coffee? Well, I hope you're going to enjoy being with us in Artemis. extremely nice lot on board. The captain and first lieutenant appear to have been an incredibly decent pair. I think I'm very lucky with my draft to Artemis. Excuse me, sir. Five minutes to your watch, sir. Roger. Thank you very much. My bunk is at the forward end of the wardroom on top of another. Once I can get into my sleeping bag, it's very comfortable. But the actual entry and exit is most hazardous. Of course, a fifth hand is really only a supernumerary, and from time to time I'm expected to pitch in and give everybody a hand. Torpedoes, navigation, the lot. The ship's going to pass within two miles. Right, sir. OK. This morning I had to stand my first watch on my own. I know I've done it many times before in a surface ship, but somehow this was quite different. Morning, Roger. Morning, Robin. How are you feeling? As a matter of fact, the captain pulled a fast one on me. I suppose he wanted to be sure that the new boy knew his stuff. Fortunately, I remembered the drill, so everything was OK. The steering is jammed. Bridge! Bridge? Steering is jammed, sir. Very good. Steering in emergency. Steering in emergency. Tell the officer watch that was all right. Bridge. Steering correct in emergency. Once I got over the feeling of newness, I began to enjoy it immensely. A certain amount of alarm at all the shipping in the channel, but it was all really rather interesting, and I began to get a marvellous feeling of responsibility. Ship bearing red to 4-5, range two miles. I must confess I've been a bit doubtful about my transfer to submarines at first. But now I know it was the right choice. I'm really beginning to feel a part of it all. What do you reckon is new, chap, then? Hey, talking to the CO now. Yeah. Gave me a bottle, my last watch. Uh, knows it all, does he, then? Matter of fact, he was right. I left some rag sculling. Gave me a lecture on fire hazards. Give him time. He'll do.
I've got my Secchi's disc, that white disc, for lowering down into the water to get the... Hey, boy, who's this crock we got in the forums with all these little bottles? Well, he's an oceanographer. Well, he's a chap who studies marine life. Oh, I don't know, you get everything on these things now, don't you? Is, uh, midships. No one in there at all. No three in there at all. No five. No five. Stop that one. Stop that three. And now, here is the gale warning. Attention all shipping. The Met Office issued the following gale warning to shipping at 11 hours GMT this morning. Rockall, Faroes, Northwesterly Gale, Force 8, Imminent. Signal just coming from the Faroes Coast Guard, sir. Submarine Sierra 49, that's Artemis, sir, sighted at 1523, proceeding northwest. I see. 30 miles, sir. 30 miles. And how far to the west of Jan Man will we pass? I'll just measure that off, sir. Right. Uh, Captain speaking. We've now, it's now the 12th, and we expect to get to the ice on or about the 17th. Yeah, Rick, to be presented with long service and good conduct medal, sir. Well, it gives me very great pleasure to present you with this medal, and I know it's been very well deserved. indulging in exclusive winter sports and the more traditional British fun and games, our oceanographer was soon busily taking samples. I went along with him. Actually, I found it jolly interesting. I suppose we all have to be a bit of a boffin nowadays, so one naturally becomes interested in these things. Unable to collect 
or salinity measurements due to difficult conditions. We had some rather tricky moments leaving the frozen north, manoeuvring the boat around loose bits of pack ice. A hell of a lot of hard work, but very interesting too. My next job will bring a lot more responsibility with it. What I'd really like would be a draft of one of the new nuclear submarines. I reckon that's where the future lies. It'd be marvellous if I was lucky enough to be selected. Okay, Chief. This is the captain speaking. We have trouble with our port main engine. The engine room are working hard to repair it, but this does mean that there will be a delay in our time of arrival at Copenhagen. I wonder how long that's going to take. <laughs> Okay, now. Jolly good, Chief. Well done. Uh, prisoner, get out of the 
port main engine. This is the captain speaking. The repairs on our port main engine have now been completed. And providing that uh, there are no further delays, we shall arrive at Copenhagen early tomorrow morning. All in all, it's been quite an experience. Doing the course at Dauphin was tough enough. Then there were some difficult moments here in Artemis, learning to be a part of the crew. Retaining one's individuality, that's the real problem. And yet I suppose it's going to see that proves we are individuals, all working together as a team because we want to. Yes, it's a wonderful life with a terrific future.